<laughs> How's it going today, guys? Great. The crisp fall air. Like it's, I've had my pumpkin spice, you know, I'm feeling good. What awesome. about you? I'm doing all right. Yeah. It's a pretty chill weekend. <laughs> You're in Vancouver? Yes. Nice. Is it rainy Vancouver today or is it? Not today, but nice. not too warm either. <laughs> Cool. Okay. Well, what or what are we going to talk about? Well, I'm going to start from the beginning and ask how the band got started. Oh God! Here we go. <laughs> here it goes. Okay. Who, who wants it? Who wants it? I, okay. You clearly don't want it. I think I think you should start, and I should interrupt. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's how the band got started. <laughs> uh, that's it. That's actually true. Okay. Yeah, I started. Okay. Okay. Should I interrupt? Yeah. Give yeah. her a thought. No, this is recording. Is it? Yeah. Yes. The, the, yes. <laughs> All of this brilliant Hi, banter I'm, has been caught. I'm Vanessa. This is David, and we're in Good Night Sunrise. Awesome. We, she didn't ask us to introduce ourselves. It's okay. <laughs> uh, so we we met in a previous band like 12 years ago. Ew. It was called The Big Deal, and I played drums, and Vanessa was the singer. And then at a certain point, she started introducing the melodica. Uh, for like one day to, yeah to, with mixed results bad results uh and then that band we were together for a year and then it, it imploded but uh but she and i had become friends and then we decided to start a new band and we had not really written done we hadn't written songs ourselves before so we just kind of did it to see if we could do it and discovered we could and then we got a rhythm section and yeah here we are 11 years later still doing the same thing <laughs> awesome and i know there's been like a few member changes over the years but you two have remained so how does it feel that it's just like you two left i think it feels good and bad like i i mean i think it's really you know like bands really are like relationships the, the more members the more decisions need to be made and agreed upon which is hard because me and david already don't agree on like most <laughs> things so i think it's it's been really nice i think to be like we both are aligned in exactly what we want and what our goals are and how much effort we're, we want to put in. And that's so great that we get to direct it. But sometimes it's tough. Like, you know, sometimes it's tough having to play with different drummers or different bassists. And that's definitely been rough over the years. But it's also been cool in a way because all of them bring something different to our music and have different ideas. And we're able to incorporate new stuff that way. So, yeah, I'd say it's a, a mix. It's bittersweet. And do you feel like you'll add like an official more members or just keep going with like rotating members? I feel like this is like a relationship where it's like, mm, I'll consider it if you're like up to my standard. Like if you're bringing something to the table that I can't bring myself, then like, right? Sure. We're, yeah, we're open to it. We're open to it. I think like, it would be great. Yeah. I, I think the dream is to just have a band and... Uh, and then I think that that helps build musically, especially like if you're in a flow with a bunch of other musicians and then you're not kind of rebuilding the wheel or whatever each each tour. Um, but but yeah, it takes a lot to for everything to line up in terms of of everyone's goals and being on the same page. Guys. Yeah, yes. it was very cleansing. It was uh, a. <laughs> It was, we're not even being dramatic. Like <laughs> we were like, so for a long time, David, David does most of the, like, you know, putting our stuff on Spotify and uploading our music and dealing with that kind of stuff. So I haven't realized the pain he's been going through in having to get the comma recognized as part of the name or like we would show up when we were played on CBC as first name, last name. So it would be sunrise, comma, good night. And like on a festival poster, like it always looked like we were two different bands. So it got really annoying. And when we were getting ready to release this album, we were like, should we change our band name? Like, is this, should we like, and we went through all these different names and our band time sick. We like mulled it over. We were like kind of into that one for a bit. Yeah. But that because if, for, if, if, for, if any listeners don't know, it's because of that's the, the title of one of the songs on our new album, uh, which we just put out, we put Time Sick out recently. So when we were thinking, oh, would, would, would that be a good band name? And I think it would be. What other names? But we still, we always liked yeah. the band name yeah. Good Night Sunrise. And then it's also sort of such a big part of our identity. So And, and yeah, so the, the irony is like for so many years, we were 
pushing people to include the comma because we were we were so adamant that artistically the comma is such an essential part of what the band name means it's not the it's same like meaning like, without the punctuation but then Sunrise. now but yeah now we're still begging people to like get rid of the comma <laughs> yeah I think it works because I noticed like if you do like a username you can't have like a character in it exactly yeah. so you're kind of good night sunrise to me anyways <laughs> Oh, that's good to know. Yeah, but we came up with the band name, like, before Spotify existed, which is crazy. Okay, don't say so, that. Well, it's, it's not been around for that long. Oh, wow, uh, that's true. Yeah. So we didn't like, have those problems back then, I guess. No, and how could we have foreseen what kind of problems we would have? Like, TikTok did not exist. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, my And God. ironically, one of our most popular videos is, uh, like, this weird, on TikTok, is this kind of not that exciting video of you physically removing the comma from My your key chart. Like Vanessa has, bedazzled. her key chart is fully bedazzled with our band name. And, and so she took the comma off and that has gone as viral as anything else on our. Go to our TikTok and like that video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So I'm happy I asked because apparently it was like a bigger moment than I thought. Oh, wow. We <laughs> really have a lot of comments. It was a massive inter drama. internal. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Sorry. So in more exciting news. You have a new album coming out. It's called yeah. Against All Odds out on October 7th. So I want to ask because I heard it was like three years in the making. Like, what was the process like? Oh. <laughs> um, you know what? Honestly, very quickly, we were not going to write an album. We were, it's very expensive. We decided we were going to write an EP. It was January 2020. We uh, wrote a few songs and then we had booked like a little like a little place to stay up north for 10 days in March 2020. And we were like, we're going to go write the rest of the CP. And we got up there. And as we know, March 2020, the pandemic was declared. And we were like, should we just stay here indefinitely? And we ended up staying. We ended up just like living there at this place with all the time on our hands. And in that time, we applied for and got a Factor JSR grant. And we were like, oh, my God, we can now write. We can afford to make this album. And that's how it turned into it. So we had spent most of that year um, off and on writing the album. And then we recorded it, I guess. Well, we did the we did the EP, the, the planned EP we did. We recorded it in 2020 uh, in between lockdowns. And then, yeah, when we got the grant and we were able to turn it into an album, we did another batch of songs in 2021 yeah so it was just yeah yeah which and, is and crazy to think in terms of full years no it's crazy to think that at one point there wasn't a pandemic i can't even like rock well sure okay, that's... okay sorry different story <laughs> but but one pill which is the first song on the album we actually like wrote by like you know we jammed it out and we had that demo we've had it on our like voice notes app since 2017 it was something we kept like meaning to return to and then we did the album so technically, in a way, it's been like five years even. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Like, yeah. Anyway, yeah. yeah. Fair enough. And uh, what would you say the new album is about? It is about the odds. I mean, I think it started as a personal story of all the odds we faced uh, in music and making this our career and following this big, big dream we have, the odds of making it in an industry where so few people achieve what they consider to be success, where there are so few women in rock music or women of color in rock music, the odds being that we recorded an album in the middle of a pandemic, the odds being that live music is valued less and less and there's less and less money to be made and it's harder to make it as a career. Like there's just so many odds there. But when we step back, I mean, the it's about all of us. It's about, it's for anyone out there following a dream, whether that dream is to be in a relationship, to make your marriage work, to go after your dream job, to travel, to get sober, to finally break that bad habit against, all, you know, the odds are never stacked in your favor, right? We have such a history, like, you know, systemically and otherwise our own personal histories that prevent us from moving forward and really taking those risks. And this is an album. Every song on this album is meant to hopefully motivate you and remind you that anything worth having is worth fighting for. Awesome. That's great. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I was thinking like, cause I remember saying like against all odds was like how your band started. And then totally. yeah, it's just like, it's everything. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. It, yeah. 
I think that probably, ha- you know, when we write songs too, like we're always like, <laughs> like so often, probably like so many artists where we're, we're writing about like the music industry, we're like, Ugh! <laughs> like <laughs> we're not dead yet. We're still here. We're going to play in your face. But like, <laughs> and we're always like, is this too like specific? But whenever you sit back and listen to it, you, you know, these are general feelings most humans have about something in their lives. And for us, it's a specific story, but I think the the sentiment is pretty general. But a lot of the songs to start from that, this even for us, start from a specific sentiment, but exp- or I'll do one of the new songs from the album now, I think of it in a more broad way. I, I still think of it in in terms of what we specifically wrote about, but I also can think of it in a broader way and apply it to a lot of different aspects to my own life. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Awesome. And I- I know you saw that you guys posted. The end of up. sentence. Oh. <laughs> anyway, sorry to cut you off. No, no, no. But it's my it's my own fault. My my thoughts occasionally just trail to you know, it's happening again. <laughs> Please ask your next question. Like vinyl, vinyl has always been pretty expensive to make, but a bigger problem is for some reason there's just over the last year been increasingly massive delays in just actually manufacturing vinyl. So it could take like eight months to actually put together an order so that kind of seems like crazy to me it is it is crazy call up the vinyl people the (laughs) the big big called big vinyl (laughs) the powerful vinyl lobby uh yeah okay i'll I'll call them up on their my the personal number i have for the vinyl lobby uh so yeah in the meantime uh we will we it'll be out on cd which is very exciting because i didn't realize yeah, it's a very international effort. Uh, but uh, Marina Totino, she has this incredible photography. And so the artwork is gorgeous. And so we're really excited to see how it looks physically in real life. We're hoping to get a Juno now. In, in, in yeah. <laughs> to be honest. Fingers crossed, <laughs> fingers crossed right? <laughs> uh, so yeah, one of the songs is called Time Sick that you mentioned before. I know you said it's like, about being nostalgic for a certain time in your life. So I figured I'd ask you guys, what was that moment for you? That we're nostalgic about? Yes. <laughs> I think, cause like, I remember distinctly when we came up with the idea for the song, we were like driving on the countryside or something. And I was like, I feel like homesick, but like for a time, not a place. And like, we were kind of like, oh, time sick. And I think what it was, I'm like trying to remember what I was thinking of. Do you remember? What were you thinking of? Uh, I can't. I, maybe this is an example of what I was talking about before. Like I, no, I can't we, re- remember exactly yeah. at the time, but now reflecting back on it, I, I kind of think it can be looking back to like when you're, and then it's easy like years later to look back on that and romanticize it and think mm-hmm. and think like, oh, times were so good. But like when I was in high school, we were I stressed was, out. Yeah, and like I wasn't, I didn't have any self confidence and yeah. uh, all this. So it wasn't really that, that good as much as I'm imagining. And then the other thing I think is, it was in the midst of the pandemic, and we couldn't like I hadn't seen so many of my close friends in like almost two years. And I think the I I feel like the idea of writing about nostalgia in that way was very much fueled by that just by Hmm. like thinking back to simpler times when there was not a pandemic and when it was like you You know I used to just like be in the sun and like eat whatever I wanted and smoke cigarettes and stuff and now I just feel like I'm so like nostalgic for a time where I felt invincible I think that's it to be honest Hmm. that's fair and um I have a question that's just for Vanessa because I've never met a guitar player (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so I have to ask, like, why did you choose the keytar over a keyboard? Like, is there a pro and con to all of it? Yes, for sure. Honestly, we, I was like just the keyboardist in the band because that's the, I was, I had, I took piano lessons. So that was the instrument I was going to play. And I always hated playing when the guys could be on their instruments, like running around doing these crazy rock moves. And I was like, oh, like <laughs> you know what I mean? And so one day we went into Long and McQuaid and I think the keytar was just there. And I was like, I think you were going to rent a keyboard for remember it, like, for stage or something yeah. and then they just happen to have one. Oh my god I remember it, putting it on which is kind of a prob- must destiny must factor into this because there's never a key turn yeah like there's there's there was a 
has been, and I think continues to be a key to our shortage. There's a huge shortage. You can't find one anywhere. I put it on and it was like, it melded with my body. <laughs> he has a picture of the first oh, moment. Like I put yeah. it on and I instantly went like, I put it on and I was like, <laughs> like immediately, like I just like immediately went into that pose. And that was that. Yeah. And, and is there a pro like, <laughs> And uh, Halloween's coming up, so I have to ask you guys, do you have like a Halloween costume planned out? Why don't we have a Halloween costume? <laughs> uh, I, in most aspects of my <laughs> life, am a not a pl good planner in any sense. We so do a celebrity I costume. didn't even think about it, but now I'm thinking. But we, well... We, well, we're not going anywhere. Well, we are doing, yeah. It, in past years, we have done oh my God. Some, some Halloween shows. And we, so as a band, we've, we've done some really good stuff. We, yeah. We dressed as the full Mario brothers and he even had a, <laughs> he had this, this cardboard brick that he put on his head with a bunch nice. of like gold coins in it. And if you like, and bumped, I, yeah, bumped him the coins, yeah. <laughs> I probably, well, I'm not going to like go out anywhere. So like, I wouldn't have a costume, hmm. but, um, I'll probably just dress like a witch, <laughs> be my witchy self. Awesome. So, but not, like, but not like a, a Hollywood witch. It's a Hollywood witch. Well, like, if you imagine, like, what does a witch look like no, in a movie? No, You're like, not going to wear, like, a pointy hat. No, I'm going to dress like... You mean, like, a modern... From, like, the craft. Like, do you know what I mean? Okay. Like, yeah. Dave. No, I, I was <laughs> trying to help you. I didn't want any of the listeners to <laughs> yes, misinterpret <you're> right. yeah. <laughs> your vision. This is it. You're going to... This is me right now. I am a witch, so I'll probably... Yeah, you'll just... That's... Yeah. That's it. Just another day. Costume. <laughs> He's in costume. <laughs> Mention my most favorite time of the year, which begins November 1st and doesn't end until January, which is the holidays. <laughs> and we do have a surprise for everyone. Yes. Especially all the single listeners out there. We've got a little something for you. So well, that will something, something. a little something probably. I mean, I can't say this when our album is about to come out. Obviously, our album is like incredible, but this other thing is up there. <laughs> I will say it is up there. So that's what's next. And then honestly, I just want to go to Europe. Like I was actually thinking we should move there for six months and try and make a go of it. Uh oh okay. Do I have to agree to it right so now? And he was like, why don't you and David just move to Germany for six months? And I was like, I don't think David would go for it. That's like a railway, drove there and back. railroad, a railway. The railway. railway, yeah. Railway. It was so fun. Can't wait to get back out there. Can't wait to see you at the Junos. Like, lots of stuff going on with you guys. Yeah. Can't wait to move to Germany. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you thanks for, for having us. And thanks for supporting us. And we always see you post about our music. Oh, and stuff. I was hoping you would notice. <laughs> oh, my God. Of course. So I hope we're, we're always reposting. Yes, I see. And then you guys okay. say something, which is sweet. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. I will let you guys go. Thank you. Wait, wait, let's take a selfie. Let's take a selfie. Oh, is that a thing? I don't even know how to do that. Yeah, with just like that. Yeah, you look great. Oh. That was it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. What should I do? Just, you know, be you. Smile. You're doing great. Okay. okay. So cute. Oh, thanks, guys. Um, thank you so much for no having worries. Us. Awesome. I'm gonna I'm gonna go. <laughs> okay, okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.